welcome to this video this is basically tutorial how you can upload your data and get started this is for the beginners and uh, if you are not a technical user for, for that matter that means that you are a business user this video is for you so bear with me let's get started okay so we have this data there's a customers data employee data and product data in our excel files so we will be using this particular data and if you see this data looks like a table uh, irrespective where the data is coming from so we can just get the data and uh, fetch the data and click in my later tutorial i will get to how you can get data from sql databases and all those databases for the for the time being let's just get started with excel data so this is a simple product sale of some company a dummy company so let's get it started in order to use this particular data what I have to do is just drag and drop the data within click in this particular video we will go through other methods to upload the data within click as well okay so the data is getting prepared at the back end essentially data is getting uh, recognized it's uh, analyzed so that it can give us some nice suggestions how to we can see our data how we can correlate our data so here we go we have these five, four five tables here it is employee table customers table so if you see um, just by design the order table is main then there is the customer table employee table and product table but if I just click over it, it is suggesting me that where it should join. It can't connect with other, but it's suggesting me to join it over here. That's great. And if I drag it over there, so it's automatically associate with that. And if you see, it has given me that the product call ID column from the product ID column from the orders product has been associated. If I go by the employee, it's not the complete match, but I know that it uh, has to be with orders. If you see here the it's the field is employee ID and here it is employee key. So the naming are not same but it has associated looking at the data is similar. So it has come up with the idea that yes. And if you see the employee ID has CEO and other uh, designations as well which might not be sale representative. So that's why the data was not complete match. And if I go to the customer column. So here again, it's suggesting me very nice one. Uh, calendar, we don't need. Click and create its own calendar. So we don't need that. We can just delete that particular data set. Here we go. Okay. So that is one method to bring in the data within click. Okay. And other method could be that we can just go click over here on this particular button. And here we have a lot of other databases so whichever databases we want to bring in we can bring the data or we can bring from google drives or a data folder that we have uh, on your system on your server uh, someone has made that particular data we can just pick that so or you can drag the file on the runtime so that it get into your system and you can find it but these things depends on the privileges if you are working on a server for the personal desktop this is perfectly fine you can do anything with it okay so just let's drop this idea and for the time being just let's load the data within our so this load is essentially refreshing the data because what happened we changed certain associations data definition so the data definitions are getting updated and it's asking us to go to a sheet to do the analysis or I want to ask you that if we want to do anything over here as well. So now let's just go to the analysis. By the way, depending on the versions you have, it might be a little bit different, but more or less the context would be same. So here we have three options. Uh, this option might be uh, you uh, before this particular screen in certain cases this is just a new version so you might be seeing that okay so i can just 
create new analytics or I can explore the data in discovery mode or I can go to inside advisor and ask him some questions so let's go to inside advisor first and uh, okay let's just explore the data sorry and if I can ask it to generate some insight for me let's see what it does for me this discovery mode so here it comes up with certain data anal analytics that it has seen the total quantity that was sold here total distinct customers are this it has given up some unit price certain orders map by world population how our things are being fared away and then we have some other analysis if you see some analysis makes sense some of them don't so as there is no sales price sales amount field so certain analysis it is assuming that might our unit price might be the sales price so certain analysis might be skewed but i like this one let's just add it to permanently to our sheet and just make it a new sheet i am yes this one is good as well i'm interested in quantity as well and i'm interested in this one but i might want to change it a little bit but for the time being just let's just add it and then there is another analysis that i might be interested is sum of quantity let's this seems one good one okay so these are basically what i'm doing here over here i'm looking at some suggestions that click insight discovery mode has given me and based on those suggestions i am adding that to my permanent sheet so that where i can analyze it again and again and if i go to the sheet now just again click on the discovery so it has made me nice and easy way uh, however it fits so here i have this particular screen where i did some analysis added into my sheet sheet means it's a permanent basis inside advisor are just created on the runtime it will go away and it will learn as you use your click sense you use your data it will learn and it will in the future in the future it will give you some intelligent analytics okay so just let's get started with this analytics uh, that we have over here just make them a little i'm not going into the much of detail that will be my second video but for the time being let's just make them a little more intuitive so here we have sum of quantity and the top sum of quantity that is showing me sum of quantity i'm not interested in the title so let's just get away with it and just make it a little smaller we go and similarly let's get it has counted the distinct customers which is good that is what actually we wanted but on the same side it's too, too big so let's just name it customers okay good enough and from the appearance we do not want the titles here we go and then let's just maybe make them a little bigger the quantity is good but here the unit price we need to change it a little bit so here we have sum of unit price but we want to multiply it with quantity as well that quantity column and here we go and just let's just name it sales amount and again in the appearance let's just get this is see we have sales and this is last name we will get in the next videos we will get into that so for the time being 
best of luck let's go to the second thank you very much